Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon, and this is the second comic book video we're doing today. I don't think we've done two comic book videos back to back in one day um, ever, ever. There just hasn't been a lot of like major groundbreaking comic book news. And this story actually broke a couple hours after we put our other video up that Diamond, uh, Diamond might have just snapped the comic book industry, the comic shops. So Diamond is no longer going to accept new orders of comics from publishers. They're not going to have any new comics for God knows how long. We don't know because they said they're suspending orders from being shipped indefinitely. That's not going to work for most people, right? I mean, that is the lifeblood of comic shops, uh, new merchandise, and they're not going to be able to get it. You know, this is exactly what happens when you put all your eggs in one basket. Diamond is the only place that a lot of comic retailers get their merchandise from, but they're not giving a date on when they're going to open back up again, when they're going to start shipping books again. Uh, this is really, really dire, guys. This this is how the comic book industry dies. You know, we've, we've been talking about comic shops that probably will not open again. And now we've got Diamond saying that they're not even going to ship to shops until this thing blows over. And I don't even know if any shops are going to be left by the time it does blow over. Uh, so coming from Comic Book Resources, Diamond halts shipments of all new comics due to that thing we can't talk about. I don't know if I can talk about it yet or not. I know YouTube has been kind of crazy. They actually dinged a video of ours yesterday for linking to a Cartoon Brew article in the description. They said it was spam, and they gave us a community strike for that. Go figure. So I'm not going to take any chances, but you know what we're talking about. Uh, due to the ongoing global crisis, Diamond Comic Distributors is suspending new orders from being shipped to its warehouse indefinitely. Diamond is the comic book direct market's largest distributor. A lot of shops only use Diamond. Responsible for shipping books from publishers such as Marvel, DC Image, Dark Horse, Boom, etc., and much more. Um... However, because it's no longer receiving new shipments, only the product it currently has on hand can be distributed to retailers. So that thing we can't talk about has taken a massive toll on the comic book industry, most notably this year's annual free comic book day event, uh, typically held the first Saturday of May, has been postponed until summertime. Publishers such as Image Comics, Boom Studios, Marvel, and Dynamite have been doing their part to assist retailers by offering steep discounts. Uh, Marvel hasn't done enough. Marvel hasn't done enough, but other publishers are offering full returnability. Diamond also attempted to ease the pressure on retailers by allowing stores to put their accounts on hold. If you're in an area where your store will be closing or significantly impacted, you may contact retailer services and request that your account be placed on hold until you're ready to begin receiving product again. If, 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 that's a big if, if you're ready to begin receiving product Again, a lot of these comic shops aren't going to survive the shutdown. They're just not. They're just not, right? Um, this is the actual email that was sent out to retailers. And, you know, I mean, this is bad. Like, I'm not going to say that Steve Jeppy doesn't care. Obviously, he does care about the comic book industry. But Diamond has... <sighs> Diamond has set itself up as the only middleman in comics that's catastrophic and we're seeing exactly why it's so bad because if you shut down diamond um that's it that's it for the comic shop and it's it's a domino effect right if the comic shops close and diamond isn't shipping product to comic shops and you've got companies like disney and warner brothers looking at their comic book companies and trying to make a decision as to how they can save money because they're being hurt on the movie end of things do you think Marvel and DC Comics are going to look that attractive? Why would you continue to publish Marvel and DC Comics if most of the comic shops are closed and, uh, you know, Diamond Distribution may or may not open up again? I mean, I think they will open eventually, but if there aren't any comic shops left, what's the point? You know, what's the point? Valiant and Vault and a lot of these smaller companies, I don't think they're going to make it. So here's a letter from Jeppy talking about what's going on. Um, he says, we're hearing from thousands of retailers they can no longer service their customers as they have in the past, many of them forced to close by government action or resort to in-person or curbside delivery. Again, here in Pennsylvania, I know all non-essential businesses have been shut down. I know there are a lot of comic shops in our area, in the Pittsburgh area, and they're shut down. 
Um, even those who are still open are seeing reduced foot traffic in most cases, a situation that seems likely to worsen with time. Our publishing partners are also faced with numerous issues in their supply chain, working with creators, printers, and increasing uncertainty when it comes to the production and delivery of products for us to distribute. There was an issue with uh, Chinese printers. A lot of the printing is done in China and uh, people couldn't get their books from China because of this situation. And now I believe some American printers are shutting down too. I mean, it's, it's, it's a cluster. Our freight networks are feeling the strain and already experiencing delays while our distribution centers in New York, California, and Pennsylvania were closed last week. Apparently, apparently they're non-essential businesses. Our hometown office in Maryland Institute of Work from Home Policy and experts say we can not expect further closures. Therefore, my only logical conclusion is to cease, cease the distribution of new weekly product until there's greater clarity on the progress made toward stemming the spread of the disease. So this is bad. Um, with the changes in our distribution strategy, we will work with our publishing partners to develop programs that will address product already in the pipeline and what will happen when we resume distribution. Hopefully they will. Uh, we know that during this time you will face many challenges and will direct our energies toward addressing them rather than fighting on increasingly numerous fronts to get product out. For those retailers who remain open, I encourage you to let loose your own creativity. For the time being, you will be able to replenish your perennials from Diamond and or Alliance, but you should also remember the stock you already have in your store. Sell what you got. If your doors remain open, it's likely you will have customers who continue to seek diversion from events of the world. Do sales and promotions and eBay. That's where a lot of this is going to go. A lot of shops are going to eBay now. you know. But at that point, you're not really a comic book shop anymore, are you? You're an eBay seller. Uh, you know, and a lot of the comic shops already made that jump to eBay. They're only selling back issues. You know, it is what it is. Besides the industry's most immediate needs, we have been and will continue looking forward to the future. When we see stores reopening, bringing staff back on board and getting customers in the door. We're looking at issues like debt accrued due to the crisis, what reducing ordering means for your discount tiers, and the availability of credit to help stores through and after this difficult time. There aren't going to be many stores left, Mr. Jeppy. Uh, there aren't going to be many stores left. We don't have all the answers today, but we understand the many issues you're facing and look forward to addressing them as partners who have an interest in the long-term health of the industry. Um, this is it. This sounds like a goodbye letter. This does. It sounds like this is Steve Jeppy signing off for the comic book industry. It's done, man. It's done. The comic book industry's toast. It could not survive being down for a week, let alone being down for months. And the fact that they're shutting down now tells me that they think they're going to be down for months. And the comic shops, unless you know these individual retailers have uh, gobs of money stashed away someplace or, or are independently wealthy, they're not going to survive. They're not going to reopen. And I, again, I know it's not just comics, but you know, when we have economic downturns like this, the businesses most affected are the businesses who have already been weakened. And the comic book industry has been weakened uh, for quite some time. It suffered a stab wound, I think, in the 90s with the crash, and it never fully recovered. It's kind of like Frodo, right? He got stabbed and he never fully recovered. And eventually it's just like, yeah, I'm just, I'm giving it up. I'm, I'm going to the West. I'm done. And I think that's, what's going to happen with the comic book industry. Um, they just, it doesn't have the strength. I don't think, uh, to carry on. It's too weak. It's too weak at this point. So what's funny, this isn't funny, haha, -ha, but this is kind of, kind of ironic. And we talked about in the previous video, we talked about how, uh, you know, Alterna was kind of demonized for the last year or two. And now all of a sudden all the comic book news outlets are speaking favorably about Alterna comics. Uh, now they are because of course, Alterna, since they'd basically been driven out of a lot of comic shops anyway, uh, they don't depend on the comic book stores to, to distribute their stuff. And what's going to happen is more and more creators, more and more publishers are going to go direct to consumer. And at that point, unfortunately, comic shops won't be necessary. I think comics will still get made. They'll be made in much, much smaller batches by indie creators or smaller publishers, but it will be direct to consumer or they'll, you know, sell through Amazon or something like that, you know, uh, book bookstores. It's not going to be the way it was before. 
It's 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 over, guys. It's over. You know? So Heidi McDonald from the beat, I have to point this out. Because Heidi McDonald, as much as I've I've uh, valued her insight into the comic book industry over the years, uh, called me out, I think about a year ago, year and a half ago, when I said that uh, Meltdown Comics in LA going out was catastrophic, and it was kind of like uh, a canary in the coal mine. Because if Meltdown Comics couldn't survive two years ago in LA, and Meltdown Comics was ground zero for the Hollywood uh, geek elite, right, with lots of money, and they couldn't survive, uh, what hope did other comic shops around the country have? And Heidi McDonald, uh, and I didn't tag her in, she retweeted me and, you know, decided she was going to uh, hang me out to dry, said, you know, basically this is fine. You're paranoid. Uh, it's fine. The comic book industry is fine. So that being said, <laughs> Heidi McDonald, I've often laughed in, at unfounded predictions about the death of the direct market, but this could be the death of the direct market. And Brian Hibbs agrees. Well, it's about fucking time you realized what was happening and it's been happening for years, right? The story, the story that's going to be told to people or spun to people is that uh, that thing we can't talk about, the virus just nuked the comic book industry when in fact the comic book industry was barely breathing when this happened. Just like the virus itself, how it tends to do most of the damage to the elderly and the weak with pre-existing medical conditions. Uh, that's what happened to the comic book industry. The comic book industry was already weak. This is just, unfortunately, um, what did it in ultimately. But if it wasn't this, it would have been something else. You know, and I don't think comics is getting back up. I don't think they are. Especially, I mean, Diamond, why, why reopen if all the comic shops are closed? And we don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, maybe, hopefully, it'll only be a few weeks and comic shops can open back up and we can kind of pretend this didn't happen. But I know I've heard from comic shop owners who are like, I can't afford to be down even for a week, you know, let alone two weeks, let alone two months. And there are some who have already thrown in the towel and they've been in business for 25, 30 years. Lee's Comics in California. You know, there are other shops that are like, yeah, I hope I open up again. I hope I do. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. They can't get new product now. So it's this is it, guys. This is it. This is how the comic book industry dies. You're watching it die in real time. And those of you who have been watching our channel and other people's channels, uh, like your boy Zach and, and uh, EVS and uh, Yellow Flash and Doug Ernst and, and so many more, they've been saying for years this is what is going to happen. They've been saying for years that the comic book industry has been dying by uh, degrees. And this is this is it. This is, this is the end of the comic book industry. I mean, there may be comic book shops after this, but I think it's going to be like vinyl. You're not going to have a lot of record stores. You might have them in bigger cities, and it's kind of a niche thing, and they sell a lot of uh, vintage stuff. And you might have some retro comics, you know, at Walmart or something, but you're never going to have the comic book industry as it was before the shutdown. You will never have that again. It's, it's over. It's over. So sad news, and I think GameStop's over too. I don't see GameStop getting back up uh, from this, especially if the shutdown drags on. And it may take a while to actually, you know, die off completely. I mean, maybe GameStop will limp to the end of the year or something, but you can't be shut for two months when you're already weak and expect to stay in business, right? So I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.